y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. Today is August the 9th and I uh, got a lot of fun things this last week and uh, a few things coming up. Uh, number one, uh, this last week I had a video on how to resaw by hand. So in other words, how do you take a board that is say an inch thick and cut it down into two boards that are a half inch thick or close there too. And how do you do it with just a handsaw? Um, and so I showed two different methods. One of them, how do you take a handsaw and just follow a line and cut it out? And number two, how do you do it with a frame saw or a, a kerfing plane to actually make the cut? And so it was kind of fun to compare the two and give a few ideas. Uh, there are many other methods. Those are just the, the two that I will commonly use. So um, go check out that video. Uh, I had a lot of good comments on that one. Uh, the second video this week was on block planes. Uh, what in the world are block planes good for? How do you adjust them? Uh, what are some of the, the settings or what, uh, what purposes do they have? Uh, it was kind of a, a fun, uh, fairly quick video to put up um, and really kind of going over three different types of block planes, how to adjust them and how to use them. So you can uh, check that video out. This next week, um, I've got at least one collaboration video coming out, and uh, possibly two, and because they're collaboration videos, um, I really uh, can't tell you about them, but uh, they're going to be kind of fun. So um, a simple project and one that's a little bit more in-depth, um, one collaboration video, I'm going to be doing things all on hand tool, and he's going to be doing it all on power tools, so you can kind of see the, the difference between the two. Um, and I'd like to do that uh, a, a few more times uh, with other channels, and really kind of go back and forth with... Uh, what is a good way of doing it with a power tool as opposed to a hand tool? And uh, what do those two worlds um, have in common or how do they work out? So if there's something you would like me to, uh, to do with that or another channel you think would be um, good for that fit, um, please let me know. So another fun project that I have going on is I, I mentioned this a while back about my uh, my desire to build another airplane. Um, I built most of another one, ended up selling the kit because we were moving around and I just couldn't move it with me and it was kind of hurting. Um, but I was really wanting the idea of making an airplane um, uh, now with uh, with my current skills um, and so I really want to make a right flyer um, well basically not an exact right flyer um, but very similar to it but bring it up to more modern standards and some of the other things that are in it so this will be a full-size airplane that carries two people around um, and so I've actually started another channel um, going over that and I'm slowly going through some of the design work on it um, and I'm going to be building a, uh, a two-foot scale model um, that kind of lets me work out the design of how I want it to look um, and then I'll make a four foot scale model that will be remote controlled and I can actually play with that and uh, basically design it in model scale. And so the, the channel will be me going through these models and then eventually building the whole aircraft. Um, and so I'm kind of uh, crowdsourcing a lot of the ideas and the design. So if it's something you would like to have a part in or at least follow along and see what's going on, um, you can check out that channel over here. Um, I'm not gonna be taking away from this. I'm just gonna be doing like one video a week up there um, light project of what is going on in the airplane build and how is it coming along. So, so far it's just this. I'm starting to build the wings and uh, thinking through a few of the problems that will come up. So that should be a lot of fun. Um, this next week, my wife and I are going to be running a half marathon, and it's her first half marathon, and it should be a lot of fun. So um, if I'm out of breath, that may be why. <laughs> but uh, I'll be able to tell you about next week uh, how that went out. So, yeah. So a couple of days ago, I got to go to another Midwest Tool Collectors Association meeting, and this was one of the, the best I've been to. Um, absolutely phenomenal prices. Um, this bucket of chisels um, was uh, $5 a chisel. Um, I saw joiners going for 20 bucks, um, just dirt cheap prices um, on great tools. And so if you haven't seen Midwest Tool Collectors, uh, it's definitely something to go check up. There is a yearly membership, but it is so worth it, um, especially for the local meets around you. Great places to find tools, uh, specifically the, the detailed things you need. And then there's two national events a year that are phenomenal and a great chance to get together and uh, meet other hand tool people. So go check out Midwest Tool Collectors Association, uh, org. Also, I was hoping to have the website all done for this week, um, but it didn't come through. Uh, sorry about that. I just had so much that it just wasn't going to happen this week. Um, also, I should have um, shirts in next week. Crossing my fingers, we'll find out. Um, so I'll, I should be able to offer those on the new website when it comes out. So keep your eye open for that. Um, it will be at woodbywrite.com. 
and uh, right now I just kind of a placeholder up there but when it goes live um, I'll let you know on uh, Instagram and uh, Facebook and probably Twitter and other places so keep an eye open for that so a lot of fun and interesting things going on and I'm really looking forward to the future this is just um, for me this whole uh, wood by right experience is is phenomenal and I'm really hoping that that joy and, and passion carries out to you guys and I'm I'm really excited about where the future holds for this so if you did like this video please hit like and think about subscribing also feel free to check out one of my other videos you might find something you like there a huge thank you to the patrons on patreon I know I say this but uh, you guys are an incredible encouragement to me and uh, I love uh, hearing your comments and the things that you do and uh, being able to bounce ideas off to you thank you for that and uh, I'm looking forward to a lot more uh, a lot more time spent with you guys. I hope you like this and until next time, have a wonderful day.